Hello and welcome to Real Proper Sims, or as it's actually known, uh, Rock Paper Shotgun. My name is Alice and I am here playing The Sims 4 mm, Discover University. This is Foxbury Institute. My Sim has just gone to sleep, so he is he is sleeping. But you join us um, as our Sim is about to go into his second day of uni um, in the villainy degree. He's going to be be a world class villain, or ho or so we hope. Before I get into it though, thanks to Displate for sponsoring the channel. Please do click the link in the description to check out our Displate store. Any poster you buy, a little bit of money comes back to us, and we have three vidbud collections and also monthly collections going up to choose from or you can choose your own. Um, they produce fine metal posters, they have magnetic backing systems so no drilling into your walls and for every poster sold 10 trees are planted which is amazing so go check that out. So imagine that this is one of those banter filled live streams with Matthew where Matthew's trying to make my sim do the worst things in the world. Um, imagine that's what this is. So living in living in halls is a messy experience. I never actually lived in halls, but I did live in student shared accommodation. And let's just say you don't always get on with your housemates. They don't always have the same level of cleanliness as you. And often you just eat you eat mouldy omelet. What are you doing? Let's not eat that. Look. How you can't be you're not even that hungry. I do have a few mods running today, uh just the basic ones. Um meaningful stories as you can see up here. I have meaningful stories, um MC command center, slice of life, and UI cheats, extended UI, whatever that 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 one. That one. I'll put a card up to my mods video so you can check out what mods I tend to use in my game. I have a few custom content packs as well, just the kitchen stuff and puffer head stuff. And one more, I think, but basically you won't see any of that. My sim doesn't have any custom content on him himself. I just wanted it when I rebuilt his family home. I wanted to rebuild with good stuff. Yeah, so this is his dorm. This is his room. He has customized his walls somewhat. So um, as you probably know, in Discover University, you can't actually enter build mode. So you can only buy draggable items from like the store, which is down on in the campus you've got like little this little booth down here has lots of options but um you can get university information different things like that you can get university items which is what he's got in his room um and university apparel which i haven't got him yet i don't know if he's going to be much of a fan why are you eating that again i don't know if he's going to be much of a fan of he's got such a sad bottom lip um of his uni because he's in his in the villainy degree i'm not sure how he's going to feel about it but he's got a little mini fridge so that he can have his cereal and stuff. But there's also a commons where he can go and eat at. And um, yeah, he's fine. There's also like, I think that's meant to be like the Who badge sticker thing. That's quite cool. But I, I don't know. I don't know. This is the world of Brightchester. Um, and it's actually probably one of the best worlds I've seen in The Sims. It's very Windenburg-y. It looks very European again which is nice there's barges and stuff it's just really I think it's a really really cute one it kind of reminds me of Cambridge a bit because of the bridges where the barges can go under quick world overview then we've got the Uni Foxbury Institute over here um, we've got Gibbs Hill which is where you can live as a normal sim um, it's got the library and things like that. And then you've got University of Brochester over here. It's got a lot of really good set dressing. Like, really good set dressing. Yeah, I think it's a really pretty world. I'm quite happy with it. I think this is probably one of the best packs, like, straight up, that we've ever got. The creator sim is also incredible. Oh my goodness, get out my way. What a mess. So what do we have up first? I want to show you some things, but... We've got, this is his elective. He's got his, his gourmet cooking as his elective. What is brunch? What is brunch? They mean and hurt me, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then he's got his other classes, which is simple tricks and traps, pretending for profit, and effective bribery. It's quite, it's quite, it's got quite a lot to do. I'm going to be honest. He's got his cooking class up first. 
so he should do his homework really i'm not a fan of this ui down here i think it's kind of gross but uh, i don't know i think that <laughs> the the calendar definitely could have been utilized a lot better they could have just put all of his classes on here oh yeah that's some pretty nice music there he's got events on there like talent showcase but like he's got his work school schedule on there but it's like a very secondary thing they could have been the bigger things like i think that his university this might just be me being being a dweeb but i feel like his university schedule is much more important than love day so i feel like they could have put the classes on as readable things instead of the other things that they put on like there's nothing going on, on these days put his schedule up put his schedule up anyway this is elliot Aha. I originally made him as as a teenager. Um, I wanted to see how much teenagers could do by way of university and they can only research universities and apply for scholarships and then um, and then wait for their university their university applications and stuff. They can wait for that to open and then they'll be there. I've got the female frame creator sim re recorded already, which I will splice in with this, I suppose. Um, I haven't I didn't download my columns thing for that. But um, the Discover University stuff, like, items-wise, is amazing. Um, his eyebrow doesn't quite fit in his eyebrow piercing there, so let's just move his eyebrow slightly. I mean, it still doesn't really work. Like, oh, I don't know. The piercings are huge. Like, I'm glad we finally got facial piercings. But, like, I, they're, they are massive. Like, they are some chunky boys. They are some chunky, chunky boys. Like, it fits around okay here but it doesn't really fit here and then the nose ones i played around with this a bit to see why and it uh, i think it is just so that they just don't get lost because often with um like custom content stuff if you make like some part of the face too big or too small they clip in and out a bit too wildly so i guess that's why um let me just show you some of the stuff that you can get in Discover University. There's loads and loads of creator sim overviews already on the internet, so have a look at them um, if you haven't already. But I mean, the hairs are amazing. This is very uh, Realm of Magic though. Um, I mean, there's not that much difference between those two, but that's being picky, that's being picky. But I think it's really great, and they've got hats that work. Um, there's like new face paint, um, there's obviously helmets because you can have bikes now, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, obviously all the new facial piercings, he's already got some in. I think that this is just um, amazing. It's got an amazing creator sim, like, uh -huh. like amazing creator sim. It's one of the best creator sims we've had outright from a pack. Like, you can't, you can't even... You can't even tell me that that's that's not true because it totally is. Like you, I mean, you can fight me if you want, but maybe not physically. Finally, the clothes in a pack are on par with stuff you'd expect from custom content creators, and I think that this pack is just mwah, chef kiss, chef kiss. All these mini tattoos as well, they're new, um, and yeah, basically, it's just great. It's got some good styled looks as well. Straight out of the bag. For once. It's got some actually good styled looks. And it's even got some it's even got some good styled looks for some other categories rather than just every day as well. Look! It's got a winter outfit. When did we last get We haven't had a winter outfit since seasons. So the male create creates him is really good for a change and the female creator sim is also really good it's got some of my absolute favorite items in there now and i really think that there's less of a need for custom content if you're too scared to download custom content for example that's totally fine there's so much you can get in this pack now it just seems to be a much more full pack and even if you didn't want the university aspect of it the fact you can now have roommates and housemates like non-playable characters living with you is like massive massive imagine all of the terrace houses you can now build imagine imagine so he's got class in 
three hours and five hours. Oh, he should definitely work on his pretending for profit homework instead, I think. Oh, he's done it. Oh, no, wait, let's do your gourmet one then. Oh, my goodness. So he's got a bike and he'll go and ride his bike in a minute. Problem is, it's just a lot of it's just a lot of reading and waiting. Um, I do want to go to the other campus, Brightchester campus, to see what it's like because I haven't visited it yet. I might go and do, might go and partake in some debates at Brightchester at some point. But yeah, he's also got his presentation to do and finish, which is cool. He made this board up. And he can ask for feedback, give final presentation, practice it, refine and organize, etc, etc. And now he's on his way. Is he on his bike? No. Oh, I thought he'd be on his bike. Get to class early. Very good. Well done. How early are you, though? Seven minutes early. Okay, that's fine. That's not too early. So all of the classes are rabbit holed. Just like in Sims 2, you can't go in and sit with them like you could in Sims 3, which I think is fine. Because I don't necessarily want to go and sit with my sim and make them study. Like, I did that enough in real life. Is that Lilith? <gasps> Lilith Pleasant. She's doing the same degree as us. So Lilith and her sister Angela Pleasant are in this expansion. And you may recognise those names from certain places like Pleasant View in The Sims 2. They're in this game. And they're, they're great. They are exactly how you would expect them to be. Their personalities are exactly the same. But yeah, like with work, you can choose what your sims do in their classes. So actively listen, attend class normally, chat with students, leave early, blah, 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 take notes. And you'll just get notifications as if it's a work, as if it's a, as if it's a work, as if it's a job. But you can have a job on top as well. You can do any of the new part-time things. Drop out of university, email your professors about progress, sit on a skill class, withdraw, find odd jobs, find a job. Yeah, so you can do other things as if you were just a usual, normal sim. You don't have to just focus on university. Oh my goodness. This boy needs some fun. Elliot turned in his homework confidently that class and squeezed every bit of knowledge he could out of it. That kind of effort will surely be a great help to his final grade in the course. Want to meet new people? Elliot should consider joining a university organisation. Find out more in the social groups panel. I bought him a guitar and I don't know if it was a good idea. I don't think he's very good. But we all got to start somewhere, haven't we? Anyway, he's a bit of a mischievous sim, a bit evil. But I wanted to make a sim I wouldn't normally make for the sake of this. Um, so I'm going to have a look at... I'm going to have a look at joining an organisation. There's organisation events. So we've got the Brainiac study session happening now. And over at the University of Bright Brightchester, we have the Art Society happening. Um, but I do want him to go to the Debate Guild later on this evening, which is at 8pm to 12am. And I also want him to build a robot. So they happen at the same time, unfortunately. If we go to the art event, we'll be able to see what Brightchester is all about. We'll go with Lilith and Angela Pleasant so you can see what they look like as well in this. It's just great to have a lot of the things from other packs finally feel like they fit in the game. So this is Brightchester University, very ye olde English looking. It's got, it's got university housing on campus, like a lot like Foxbury, but it's a lot more old fashioned. I'm just overwhelmed by this pack. Look at the barges. Look how cute they are. Look, I love it. So let's get involved. Let's do some painting. You're far too tense to paint. Oh, Elliot, come on. Don't be so tense. Don't be so tense. Should we TP the statue? Let's toilet paper the statue. Yeah, here's Lilith Pleasant. And here is Angela Pleasant. Oh, he's getting on his bike to go over there, is he? So bikes are new, which is getting a lot of people excited because it could mean potentially that maybe cars will be around soon. But... I wouldn't, I don't know, I don't know if I would definitely count on that being a thing, but it definitely could happen, it definitely could be a whole thing. Checking nobody's watching. I mean, he's definitely going to get, he's definitely going to get spotted doing this. Oh, nice one, Elliot, you show him. Practice juggling? What? Why do you want to practice juggling? He has TP'd that statue, good. Oh! Oh, juggling with the ball. Oh, his football. That's keepy-uppy. That's not juggling. 
Isn't that keepy uppy? I'd say that's keepy up. Anyway, he's having a good time. He's having a good time, and we're gonna go. Oh, is she a teacher? No. Young adult. So yeah, you have to be a young adult to join university. Which I think I was a little bit I'm a little bit disappointed that you can't become a uni student through being a teenager. But I don't know. I'm sure there are reasons. That's university student housing. That's lectures. Where's their common room? I'm going to prank with Foxbury banners because it's bounce. So make offering for academic success. <clears throat> this is where you will become... Oh my goodness. What the frick? This is where you will become part of the secret society. But you need to have something good to offer before you become part of the secret society. I was going to become part of the secret society for this let's play, but then I lo researched it and it's not as exciting as I thought it was. It doesn't sound anywhere near as exhilarating or as funny as it should be, maybe. Maybe I'm just being picky, but I don't feel like just having sprites that pester you and ask you to do nice things for them is like that fun. So I decided not to do it. So we're going to prank with some banners and these are going to be our school banners on the on the rival school. Go on, Elliot. Do it. Go on, Elliot. Do it. Takes a sweet time, doesn't he? For someone who's mischievous. Hey. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. I like how he's made some real, real bad ones. Tea and poetry reading is starting at the U Bright Commons. The only thing that goes better than tea and sandwiches is tea and poetry. This is a very, very, very posh university. Great. Let's get some proper food. So you can get food from um, their school cafeterias and canteens. Um, I think at different times of the day, there are three different options so that your sim has different options to eat. Um, they can eat here or they can get a little mini fridge. There are no kitchens in dorms, which is a bit disappointing because, you know, in England, we do have shared kitchens. So it's a bit disappointing. Is this a little study group going on over here? The world is pretty full, to be fair. Like, there have been some expansions that I've got, and I've, it's been very exciting in principle, but then not very exciting in actual practice. So, have I missed the robotics class? Right, let's go to the bots thing before that's over. So, the robotics class, where, where, is, it, where is it happening? I can't see it. Scrap craft, is that it? I haven't built a robot yet. I'm coming to this relatively fresh, like you guys. I mean, I've watched a lot. I've watched a lot of stuff from Sims Camp. I'm gonna be honest. Ah. Excuse me, I was I was gonna use that one. Alright, I'll use this one instead then. Um, craft chatterbot. And we don't have any of the salvage parts. While he's tinkering around with his robot stuff, chatting away, not really focusing on anything. I don't think Deirdre wants to chat with you, Elliot. Grandad! No, I do not want to check out what's going on at the ruins. I'm at uni. I'm busy. His family are very, 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 very clingy. Right, let's go home. What have you got up next? You've got simple tri tricks and traps and effective bribery. It's very, it is very short, the terms. I've done, so I captured his university process and him picking his classes and things. I'll put that in here now. There is loads to pick from. And you have, you can choose one class or four classes a term. One class would obviously give you one thing to focus on. <laughs> Four classes obviously give you four classes to focus on. You can do all four in your degree, or you can do three in an elective, or two in an elective, or one in an elective, and just do whatever you want. The electives are really good because, like, you actually do have electives at university. And I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm definitely feeling it. Nobody to share the smile with. Oh, Elliot. That's sad. That's a sad, sad thing. So, while I did say that you cannot... Let's let's get him to bed. You can't actually edit lots like you can in a normal build. If you do um, BB enable 
free build, you can then access this, which allows you to edit lots. And as you can see, the lot is basically like a city living apartment where you have the building. You can't really change anything. I mean, you can change a lot more than you can because you've got the, the cheat on. And then you're just in a penthouse on the top. Um, and that's how that works. And so the new stuff that you can get, I just want to show you all. So this is all the university student housing stuff that you can get. So there is so much stuff with Discover University, like so much stuff. There is so many new items like stools, with different stools. You've got stone bench, very good. New coffee tables, new workstations, podium of debate stuff, research machines, soccer balls, beds, new beds, full scholarship, single bed. So you can show everyone how rich you are. Philosophy of sleep double bed. So you've got lots of stuff. A gaming chair. So there's just loads of new stuff. And but yeah, there's there's so many cool things and I'm very excited to do loads of builds with this new stuff. Um you've got a few new wall types in build mode as well. Like you've got very fancy brick, accented stone, it's very bath. That's also very bath can make Bath Spa University very easily. Like, very easily. Should you want to? Should you want to? Should you want to recreate your actual uni days? This really cool flooring. I actually really like it. They've already used it in a lot of the rooms. But it's got different accent colours. So you can just... Look, I just... I really like the flooring. Like, it's one of the actual... I don't like many Sims floorings. Um, but I really like it. I really like it. Especially carpets. I don't think the carpets in the Sims are that great. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you use free edit mode, you can easily edit your stuff, and it's just it's just good. It's just good. It's it's a really good selection of stuff in this pack, and I think people will be very very happy with it. Oh, I was gonna give him a microwave, wasn't I? But yeah, so he's got a microwave now, so he can actually have some proper food in his room rather than the stanky ass omelette that he keeps eating. Do we have a bin in here? I feel like the bin is why we're not... We do have a bin. We have our rubbish chute here. Oh, it's love day. Oh, hooray. Send forged breakup letter. Oh my god. Would that break up our grandparents? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So yeah, he did take out a loan to come to university as well. Not much of one. He did get a scholarship because he had high mischief skill. And also low funds in his family. I think he got that as well. Um... Where's he going? Where's he going? You haven't... Oh my god, but you haven't peed. You haven't peed. Oh god, he's gonna pee himself. I'm not I'm not cheating him out of peeing himself. He didn't get the Brightchester resident um, loan, even though he is a Brightchester resident. His house, his family home is in Brightchester, which is the name of the new world, by the way. I don't know if I've said that yet. That's the name of the new world. He is gonna pee himself before his class starts. Oh, Elliot. Oh. What? Eh? How did that happen? That's really weird. So he's got the new um, aspiration as well, which is academic. So he wants to attend university, get a job, but most importantly, learn. You get a bonus trait with that as well, which I cannot remember what it is for the life of me. Quick learner. And yeah, he's on the first level still because he's not achieved that yet. Which he can do by either participating in debates or going to the commons and using a research computer. He can also do it that way too. Elliot showed up to class but wasn't prepared as he should have been. Oh no! Elliot, did you not do did we not do your homework properly? This is the thing. Balancing actually doing exciting things. It's actually very difficult to balance everything. Actively listen. Take notes, maybe. Yeah, take notes. So you actually learn something. Elliot, come on. Come on. I don't normally play with guy sims either. But because because I like the creator sim for male sims, I'm totally down with it. Totally down with it. I'm also going to get him to join the esports team, I think. So, joining the esports team brings up the career picker, which is very odd. If you scroll down, you have esports competitor or soccer team player. Oh, actually, maybe I'll get him to be a soccer because he's quite athletic. 
Instead of watching games on Friday and Saturday, you'll be playing them. You already play video games all day anyway, right? Oh my god, look at all the cans of energy drink. Ah. Right, soccer team player. We'll do that. When is soccer practice? Daily? Oh god. Oh god, my friends are too... Oh god. Are you doing your homework here? Do homework for effective bribery. Okay, well, that's fine. As long as you're actually doing your homework for stuff. What do we have next? Oh, we haven't got class for a few days. We've got quite a while to catch up on some stuff. Are you friends? Give love day gift? No, maybe not. Oh, what's going on? Why are you angry, sir? Oh, good versus evil sims. She must be good. Mmm. He is not happy. He is not happy. Let's go to the Foxbury Commons. Let's go with Lilith. No. Where's... Oh, let's just go with Lilith then. Right, so here we are at the commons. I want to get our research skill up. Let's see. Are there any showers here? There are not any showers here. I was hoping there'd be showers here because we need a shower. Oh, he's going to play some... Oh, okay, well, that's fine. You know, it's a Friday. You can let your hair down now. Just relax. Um, right, I actually do want him to do some research though. So we've got these old funky ass computers. Look at them. And you can research. Um, let's do some research for fitness. Because we need to get our fitness skill up for our soccer team. He is well angry. He is storming around this place. Look how angry he is. Sir, you do not need to be this angry. Angrily research stuff about fitness. Uh -huh. Oh, he is. He really is. Where are you off to now? Is he going to angrily pee? Take an angry poop. All right, maybe that will help him out a bit. Right, let's go home because you need to shower. Soccer games take place every Friday. Okay. We should shower and then attend that soccer game. The only thing that does annoy me are the loading screens between campus things. Luckily my computer is fast enough for the loading screens to not feel too imposing. But I can imagine if I had a lower end PC and I had to wait and sit through a loading screen every time I wanted to do something, I would be very annoyed. Uh, I just want him to feel better. Right, let's get him out and then let's get him have a quick meal. Um, do you have, can you eat, I guess you can eat a breakfast burrito at dinner time. Let's get him to eat some noodles, some noodles, eat some, eat some nudes, come on. Nerds. Mmm, got very angry then, didn't he? And then we'll go to the game, I think we'll probably miss the game now though. What I do like about it is though that there are two universities, um, unlike in The Sims 3 there was just one university and in The Sims 2 there were three universities you could choose from um, to place with your world but obviously in The Sims 2 aging and stuff didn't happen when you were not in the same world so or in the same active family and stuff so you would go to university and everyone would be the same age when you got back and it would just kind of be a little bit less, I don't know, like The Sims 4 has that kind of Dynamicness. Why are you? you cannot be going to the football game with your noodle? Uh, what is your spaghetti policy here? Just come on in. Come on in with your noodles. What? But yeah, obviously now Sims can actually go to university and their families' lives can continue alongside. Okay, well, he's feeling a bit better, I think. He needs some amusement, though. So what's he going to be doing? He watch some TV. He doesn't have a partner, so I can't actually show you, but you can now woohoo in the showers. Um, another new thing that's exciting is the columns, which I haven't actually played around with. The columns had an update. This is a free update, by the way. This isn't actually part of the game. Like, this isn't part of the expansion, it's for the free update, but you can now move columns, so they change size, which is amazing. They don't have to be the length of walls. You can change them however you want. Look! So good. So good. Another new thing in the update is in game options now, you have accessibility, which scales your UI like bonkers. And tells you where would be best for your UI to sit. Like you've got 
but that's the smallest really for me and that's the biggest really for me which is great if you a have problems reading small text and didn't want to always go into the text file to change it because you can change it manually in the text file options but a bit finicky and also a bit confusing to remember where it is all the time also if you stream if you do game capture all really good to scale stuff up it can be fine for you but then as soon as it's on like a tiny little screen for someone else can be sometimes illegible so it's just a really cool option and feature that the sims have now added in as well the lack of traits is annoying but i think the amazing creator sim really makes up for it because the creator sim oh, is superb like actually superb love day wasn't up to elliot's expectations that's because we didn't have anyone to love he's a lonely boy we should try and befriend lilith but i don't think she likes us you're gonna chat with julia Oh, Julia, you look sad. Talk about university, taunt about university superiority. Flirty introduction. Let's see for how this works. She's sad, though. Oh, but she liked that. She digs, she digs that. Oh, hello. Ask about degree. So ask about degree is a new option. You can ask people about. We don't actually know what our grades are yet. We should probably have a look at what our grades are. Julia is studying physics at University of Brightchester. Oh. oh, she's just gone. Okay, bye then. So to find out your grades, you have to email your professors. Which is kind of annoying because you can't... You've got to uh, email each... Like, you can talk to a professor at the end of, like, the day or whatever as well. But... You have to do it for each class. You can't just get like a bulk grade. You wanna know how you're doing? You're doing fine. Stay on top of your homework. Okay, fine is not where I wanted to be at, but uh, you've fallen a bit behind. But it's nothing about studying attendance and attention to homework can't solve. We definitely need to stay on top of some stuff. Doing fine. Okay, we definitely need to do some studying. Once he's done his studying, we'll come back. We also need him. I'm gonna get him to start writing his homework as well. For what is brunch? What is brunch? Baby, don't hurt me. See, he's currently studying and he's missing out on all the Foxbury cheer out here. Oh my god, I forgot with the lobsters. Oh, could you imagine having the choice out, like having the choice of being chosen to go out to two universities? They're all really sad. Why do we not have any Foxbury cheer? Um, you could be the li you could be the Dragon School or you could be the Lobster School, and you're the lobster school you'd be like oh okay anyway he's still studying so we'll come back to him when he's done oh okay so he we can't do any more studying school spirit uh, school spirit day is happening and i think we've missed it we've missed the whole of school spirit day but he's too tense he's too tense to do any any more work so there's that he's starting his uh right term paper though so that's good we're getting somewhere 25 he's only 25 percent done on his homework Tell you what, it does take a sweet ass time doing anything. <laughs> Yay, we can now prepare butternut gnocchi and chicken saltimbocca. Oh, he's off to sports practice. He's off to his soccer game. Elia is off to play some soccer. Go smash him! Foxbury! Foxbury! You notice a dog running around the sideline in the field. Lure the dog onto the field to distract your opponents. Lure. Elliot's mischievous plans go off without a hitch. He whistles, the pup comes running onto the field, and a member of the opposing team immediately lets their guard down to pet the dog. Elliot doesn't hesitate to take advantage and blows past the defender to position himself in front of the other team's net. Nice one, Elliot. Yeah, use that mischief skill. Victory! Elliot's team delivered a clutch performance and won the soccer game! That's amazing! Congratulations! Go, Elliot! You would have totally won if you hadn't cheated that dog thing. Oh, look at his little sports outfit as well. Oh, you deserve a good sleep, Elliot. My God, you can't sleep a bit. Uni is hard. Okay, so our presentation is the best it can be. We'll put it back in our inventory now. It's taken up quite a lot of room. Oh, just sleep. Do it when you wake up. Right, it's now Sunday. We've got lots of work to continue doing. How nice. This place is such a mess. So you can't actually get juiced. Like, you could get juiced. 
um, in old Sims universities, you could get drunk, basically. But you can't do that now. I think it's something to do with the Peggy rating, which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But such is life. Oh, boy. Well done. Duke Hexstand. Where are you going? Oh, she's in the sh she's in the shower. Don't talk to her while she's showering. Oh my god. You hate each other though, don't you? Isn't she too nice? Oh, that didn't go very well. That really didn't go very well. That was really embarrassing. Sugar and spice. Tapped. Lilith will be over. Yay. Should we clean up a bit of stuff before Lilith comes around? Because it's kind of gross. Ask about the greet. You don't really know anything about her. Oh, just a hug, is it? Did you ask about your degree? She seems very angry all the time, doesn't she? Oh, she is. She's really angry. Do we have any... Also villainy. Same girl, same. Same. We're so, we've got so much in common. See, her eyebrow piercings don't even fit over her eyebrows. Let's get some pizza. Sweet corn pizza. Oh God, someone's crying. The real university experience is here. Where's our pizza? Where's our pizza? I want pizza. Where's our pizza? Oh man. This is sad. I'm very sad about this man. He's he's not having a great time. Quite good at doing homework, like, on a whim though. Like, he doesn't need me to tell him to do homework. Which is good. I think that's very good. Let's go to the Foxbury Commons, because we're having a bad day. Maybe we can make it better. Can I just have some French toast? So all the food that you can get from here is free, which is good. Um, we'll just get him to eat. He's having a bad day. Sadly <laughs> eating his French toast. <laughs> oh, God. Look, you can do some homework with Lilith and maybe that'll... Oh, she's so angry. Lilith. <sighs> All right, granddad. No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, she doesn't uh -huh. like us. Where did you all come from? I do not remember inviting you more with me as well. I don't hang out with nerds. No, I'm kidding. Oh my goodness! Let's go and have a look at the 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 the, the robot contest. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look, robots! And you can you can romance and you can become friends with these robots and you can woohoo with the robots. You can woohoo with the robots in showers as well. Look, we can become friends with this robot. Maybe he'll cheer us up. Oh, we're just super tired. Oh my god, look how cool they are. We really need to build one. Utility, utility bot. Oh. Party bot. I love the party bot. I'm bopping to the party bot. You can't see it, but I'm bopping. Just imagine I'm bopping. I'm bopping to the party bot. Oh no, don't tell him off! No, don't be mean to the robot! Oh, we're, su we're such a horrible part. I shouldn't have made us evil. We're so mean and grumpy all the time. Why are you confident? Because you were mean to a robot? Is that what it is? Does that make you feel like a big man? Being mean to a poor, sad, 
cute robot. Absolutely outrageous behavior, quite frankly. Wow, so, <clears throat> so somehow I've managed to get loads of cool items and I'm gonna see if I can make an offering to my statue. So you make an offering for academic success. This is how I'm gonna end and wrap up this let's play. I'm gonna make an offering for academic success because as we know, he's not doing the be he's not doing the best. He's not doing the best. So apparently here, the offering can either be some of these lovely rocks, crystals, but high value ones, or some really well baked goods. So I'm gonna offer up a diamond and see what happens. Let's make this offering. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, he just got sucked up. Okay. Academic success, did it work? Is Elliot smarter? Time to go study and find out. Oh, he's gonna be mean to the robot again before. Don't be mean to the robot. Stop being mean to the robot. Why is he so horrible? I know I made him mean, but I didn't think I made him that mean. All right, let's go and do some homework and let's see how well we can do this homework. All right, let's do some homework right in his face. How are you feeling about that? Is that feeling good? Oh, you're near misery. Oh. Hello. I'm studying at the moment, Eva. My God. I can see why some people want to woohoo with the survey bot, eh? Eh? Look at him go. People distract you a lot at university, which is very true to real life university. Um, and you can also be any age from young adult to elder going through uni, but you will have different scholarships available to you. Yeah, depending on how far through life you've gone, uh, depending on how much money you have, depending on where you live, depending on your skill ratings and things like that, depends on all the scholarships you can get. And if you go into it playing with a family that you've had for a while, I imagine you'll probably have a more immersive experience of it than if you have done what I have done, which is just go in with a sim just to show off the university experience. Bye, robot. Bye. Go home, go home and then pee. Oh my word. Oh, these toilets are dirty already. This place is so gross. I guess we better go to bed. We've got, we've got uni tomorrow. Oh shoot. Final exam is in an hour. Wait, what? Okay, good luck with your final exam, Elliot. Mm. Don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out, don't freak out. You'll be fine, you'll be fine, Elliot, you'll be fine. Maybe that wasn't a good enough offering. Okay, we've taken our final exam. We've got presentation and submit that, and that's, that's that. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's gonna be totally fine. Right, so Elliot has somehow, again, been gifted with the gods of finding some amazing things. He's going to offer up some more things for his academic success. And hopefully, hopefully, Whoa. clean up statue. Oh, grandma. That's a good deed for us to do that. Let's go and do something fun. The world feels a little more sparkly. Sorry, Grandad. You came at bedtime. Right, go to sleep. Oh! Oh, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Um. Hello. Secret Society members. We visit on behalf of those who greatly appreciate your generous offering. If your heart is pure, we invite you to join us and learn our secrets. My heart's not very pure. I'm a very evil sim. Nice one, though. Look at that. Ah, oh, we got a sprite. We're now official, officially a member of the Order of Enchantment. So we're just going to go to Gibbs Hill. Um, we're going to visit the library. Angela Pleasant's got a, a mascot mask on. Look how nice this town is, though. Look how nice this town is. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. I'm here to look for the the, the ritual area, which I believe is in this part of town. 
So here's the ritual. Make offering to sprites. Let's go and do some sprite things, sprightly things. Oh, look at us in our robe. I was curious to see if there was going to be like a good one. If you're good, you can join this one. If you're if you're not good, you can join another one. But it seems that there's only one. That's fine. Oh my goodness! Just ride your bike right up to it then. Tend to sprites garden. Seems like these sprites are going to be a, a little bit difficult to um to look after. Sprite celebration ritual. Can't believe it. We, we found the secret society. And we're a member of the secret society. And we're going to bugger off back now. Where are we going? Going to go use our portable computer. And with that... My friends, my my fellow viewers and listeners, I'm going to end it here today. I do hope you've enjoyed watching me play a little bit of Discover University. Imagine this was a live stream and Matthew was here continuously making funny, funny, in inverted commas, quips about everything. Um, but before I do go, do make sure you check out our display store. Every poster you buy, a little bit of money comes back to us. And for every poster sold, 10 trees are planted. They're made of metal. And they don't damage your walls because they have a cool magnet backing system. Go check it out. We have a November selection at the moment. And all three vid buds have their own little section too. So if you did enjoy today's video, do give it a like. And subscribe to Rock Paper Shotgun if you want to see more. I'll put my two most recent Sims videos on the end plate here. So you can check out my top mods and my favourite CC packs that really give the Sims own packs a run for their money. So go and check them out. Um, if you haven't seen them already and do let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and if you'd like to see more kind of let's plays from us in the future like this thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon